<laughs> I'm terrified. Please don't stain. Please don't stain. <laughs> I hate lipstick. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today. We have something special going on. We have a little makeup, coffee, and chit chat. <laughs> Take two. Today we have something. <laughs> Tastes good? We got some allergies going on. Today we have something super special going on. My three year old and I are going to be doing a little coffee, chit chat, makeup with you guys. She's never done makeup a day in her life before, so this should be truly something spectacular. This is my three-year-old, Pamela! <laughs> what, Pam? <laughs> you ready to do this, Pam? A Berkeley. Berkeley is here with us, so let's jump in. I'm already sweating from just pregnancy hot flashes. So first, I'm gonna do foundation and concealer. You're not. So do you wanna dive in to your eyes first? Okay. I'm gonna do that. So we have options. Hold on, look at your options first. You got like purple. Lord I'm help us with the purple. This. You wanna do the purples? Well, you're just getting right in there. Here we go. So I'm gonna mix two of my found. <laughs> <laughs> looks so good. <laughs> I'm gonna miss, mix two of my foundations because I'm pale AF right now. So, um, I'm, this is too white for me and this is too dark for me. Now I wanna do this. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix it. I'm using one of my crappier beauty blenders, not my favorite. And this goes on the end. Yep, uh, go, hmm? looks so good. Some tribal paint. <laughs> Maybe you should try to put on your eye on your your eye. Uh, what's it called? Your eyelid, like how mommy does it, right here. That's where the eyeshadow goes. Try that out. Try that on for size. See how that. See how that, those results look. Like. So you know what my favorite part about the beauty blender is? Mm -mm. This sound. Mm -mm. Listen. One day you too will look this glamorous when you do your makeup. Oh my gosh, come on. Okay, that's a little too hard. We're not trying to kill it, we're just trying to put it on our face. That goes on the <laughs> Let's put it on the eyelid, not the eyebrow. Does that make sense? Uh, that's where that goes. Like this? Perfect, here, use your mirror so you can see what you're doing. That's why, that's why they exist. I'm just gonna blend down here. I'm not gonna worry about my neck right now, so I know it's not gonna look the best, but. What ifs, what ifs. We don't have much on the agenda today. I need to pack my hospital bag, right? Yeah, mommy. Yep. But, um, can you, um, oh, the blue? No, 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 no. Oh. no. I, I, I wanna do that now. Hey, this palette was like $80, so let's try that. to like cool it on the pressure of application, shall we? Got it. Okay, so that's not for eyes. Do you want to use it? You know what? Use it for eyes. That's fine. It's blush. It's originally for cheeks, but you can wear blushes, eyeshadow. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. At least for the next five minutes. Okay, why don't you use this brush? Okay. So that's a blush brush. So get in there good. Kind of a light, light hand. Ah, too hard. Light hand. And then tap off the excess. And now put it on your cheeks. Uh-huh. Yeah, it looks, looks real nice. So I'm found foundationed up. <laughs> if you think we're wearing this out today, you're delusional. Now I'm gonna go on with my concealer. Everything I'm using, I'm gonna link Mommy, below. Open this. Oh, I'm terrified. Let's let's wait. I'm not ready for the lipstick yet. Let's wait a second. There's still not enough on your eyes. On your eyes. You, you only put it on this side. You gotta put it on the other eye too. Don't forget the left one. Okay. Like I said, I'm gonna link these products down below. Um, you can find all of my mine on Amazon. Um, just add them to your hey, cart whenever you're enough? already. That looks beautiful. Now match it on the other side. You gotta make a match. Um, I don't want 
two. Oh, mix match eyeballs. Sorry if I'm looking in the viewfinder a lot today, guys. I'm trying to make sure we're still in this picture. Still on the eyes. Yes. Okay. I think. Yeah, that looks pretty. Looks real pretty. I don't even know. My face. I'm so distracted by her. My face is not gonna be what it can be. If you know what I mean. Here, you can have my beauty blender now. I am ready for paint. Paint? Contour paint! Do you want to pat? I'm sweating and I'm no, still drinking mommy, coffee. I don't want to. I'm okay. You're better than okay. You are. I'm okay. You're a piece of art on your face. And I mean that in the best way possible. Oh, you're going in with that blue. Here, do this one. Do this, this brush. It's it's like a, so, all right, okay. Just getting up in there with that blue. Yep, get it all in there. Now I'm gonna contour. So I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter. I bought this like a year ago. And I just started using like this gelish like color right here. I'm hitting pan. Isn't that what they say? Hit and pan. Um, so I use this for my contour. Look at that, Burke. Holla! I use that. I've never used a cream before, but it happened because I was on vacation at my mother-in-law's house in Wisconsin and I had forgotten my powder that I used to contour. Mom! So I had to improvise and I ended up really liking, I don't know how that's looking on camera, how it looks in person. I need to do my neck. It's driving me crazy. I can see on the viewfinder. <gasps> All right, so I'm going to go in. This is Smith & Colt. Actually came in a um, Fab Fit Fun Box and I really like it to match this shade of my of I my paleness. That. I need that. This one's like chocolate. It is like chocolate. Don't use that one though. You know, what do you want to use it for? Um, to contour? Alright, go ahead. I've had it. <laughs> hey! Hey, there it is! Rub it in, girl, like me. See, it's supposed to give you, if you go this way, it gives you a defined jawline. But you're just all cheek. He's so cute. Okay, rub it in. Okay, and then I'm gonna go with my tartiest. No, I'm not. Focus. Got a little bit of a distraction. Her name's no, Pam. I'm, no, I'm going to try something. Okay, hold on. Let me do my nose. So I go in with the same color. <laughs> and I contour my nose because it's, because it's so big. <laughs> I know, it's terrifying. So then I just take my finger and I smooth it out. Look at that definition, that snatch! Where is this goes? At this point, it can go really anywhere on your face. It is? Yep, looks good. Berkeley, what do you want to be when you grow up? I don't know. You don't know? We only have a couple more years to decide. You um, gotta figure it out. A mermaid. That's good ambition. Now I'm gonna go in with Tardiest Pro Glow is what I'm gonna go in for my highlight and also um, use a little sculpt. So this one is called Sculpt. I go um, over my contour, kind of underneath it with it just to powderize it so it's not so shiny. And then I use, what is that called? Strobe for my highlight. I just go in with this brush that I got from FabFitFun. I'll also see if they're on Amazon for you guys. If you guys do order my, I think this, these actually, these brushes are really good. And they came, there's more, lots more. They came in the fall FabFitFun. No, our face! These came in the fall FabFitFun box. Okay, and if you order the FabFitFun, use my code REDHEAD and you'll get $10 off your first box. This video is not sponsored. Oh, this is I just do straight lines and I then I do little, little circles. Okay, yeah, we need to darken our eyebrows. One day I'll have to teach you how to darken your eyebrows because you might need it, like mommy. Mommy's got no eyebrows. This is actually residual from early this morning. I put a little bit on um, before I thought about doing this. So they're even less than that. I got like straight up blonde, can't see my hair. 
um, eyelashes. No! And I'm gonna go back in with the Smith and Colt and use the blush color, just really light. I don't like a ton of blush, but it does help with contour, not looking so like just brown and highlight. Oh, I'm going to turn on that. Perfect. Looks like you have age spots. Keep blending. It's gonna become body paint real quick. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna do my eye. What's this called? I um eye eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. Guys, I'm a sucker for the original Naked palette. It's all I've used since it came out. I love it. I also have this Lorac palette that I like. Obviously, it's very used. It's dirty, and I'm hitting pan on a lot. I do like it, but I always have to have this on hand. I like the. I like all the colors. Look, so many are gone. Kind of a subtle face today. A subtle brown smoky eye. I start on the lid and then I go on the crease and I just kind of fan it out to cover. Pretty good coverage on my whole lid. I have really pale eyelids and it shows like all the veins. Like, who knew there were so many veins in the eyelid? So I cover the whole eyelid, like within the first application because I can't see it anymore. Gotta get it off there. Let's do a little sin, a little pinky sin for my shimmer just on my eyelid. You see that? I don't know if this is actually gonna qualify as a good makeup video because I'm not zoomed in like the, like the butte bloggers, because I've got sister child here making some good decisions with me. So beauty bloggers will tell you to like put like powder under your eyes to where the fallout of the eyeshadow, but I'm no beauty blogger. And if you're coming to me for actual makeup advice, <laughs> it's one of your poorest decisions. I am no makeup artist. I've literally been doing my makeup the same since high school. All I do is change up the colors every once in a while. You really don't look, um, negative because you're using all the browns and nudes because that's what I have. So like if you were putting on this blue a lot, like up in the eyebrows here, the blue brows you got going on, looks so good. You always want your brows to match your outfit, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Now I'm gonna go in with my um, a little bit looser brush. Mm -hmm. Dark Horse, this is my um, gonna be my smoky eye. So I go in just on the edge and a little bit on my eyelid and pat, 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 pat. And then this one looks awesome. That was pat, 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 and then we're gonna blend. So I'm gonna wipe off Mom, my brush. You have, you have lots of turns. Lots of what? Lots what? of turns? Okay, then you talk. What do you wanna say about your makeup? Nothing. Alrighty then. I don't know what I look like because I don't have my contacts in. Yeah, it looks all right. I look a little pinky, but that's all right. We got some natural sunlight coming in, so we can get a little wider than what I'm seeing, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna tell you guys anything I want to so I can make myself think that I look better in real life. Not on your lips. Do you wanna do your lipstick now? Then I go in with Virgin. Yeah. It's the whitest on the palette over here. And I just highlight right underneath the brow. Uh, I can't open. I don't know where my dinner um, brush is. I'm just gonna use this one because I'm gonna do my brows over anyway. Open. And kind of give it a subtle highlight. This right here is gonna seal the deal for you. I bought this one time when I thought I was gonna try lipstick for the first time in my life. I don't do lipstick. This is Revlon Matte Pink, and it is oh so vibrant. I do it, I do it, I do it. Perfect. Dear Jesus, please, <laughs> please let us do well on this application. Use your mirror, use your mirror. What are you doing, use your mirror. Not too bad. You're doing great. Have confidence. Okay. While she's doing that, I'm gonna go in and lick my brush and mix Dark Horse and Creep. Creep is the black. What's going on? I need it. Um, and I'm gonna mix it, and I've been doing my under eye. I only do halfway, because it makes your eye bigger if you only do it halfway. Um, I've been using it as eyeliner, 
Um, mainly because when I had fake eyelashes on, you're not supposed to scrub your face, like your eyes, because they'll, you know, scrub off. So the liquid eyeliner was just um, taking, I couldn't get it all off because I couldn't wash it off. So I used the eyeshadow because it would come off easier. But this actually lasts during the day, so I only do half the eye, open it up. I don't do any on the top because my eyelid is super small. I got them hooded eyes, which means there's like a lot of like skin and fat up here. Like I just need to see how like whenever I look at you, like my eye, can't really see my eyelid because like the skin droops down. It's called a hood eye. But if you have a hood eye, you want to do like light colors on your actual eyelid. You want to do them dark creases, makes it look bigger. And then you do not want to do eyeliner on the top because it's just one more thing taking away eyelid skin from you. Yep, yeah, looks good. Yeah, it doesn't go there. Let's wipe that off. Can I do on your lips? You can do my lips after I'm done with my eyes. God bless it. My uh, mascara layer. Mommy. Yeah? Look, Here. I need just that. You need that? Okay. Get it, girl. Pat that in. Yeah, you really need to blend. Mommy? Yeah? Uh, can I wipe this off? I'm going to try it again. Wipe what off? Yes, I'm here. Again. All right. This is just not blended to my liking. This is my staple. I've used it all my life. L'Oreal Voluminous. I've tried so many other mascaras, and there have been some that are okay, but I always, always, always go back to this one. I know it's funny because everyone prefers like different mascaras. I think it has to do with like how it applies to your eyelash. I don't know, but. I love this because it's a little, um, what's the word? Chunky, a little, um, what's the word? What's that word? That looks good. A little thick, um, so it goes on a little chunky, but I like a little chunk. I don't know why people don't like a little bit of chunk to their lashes because it just makes my eyelashes look thicker. Um, and I'm not using the right word. Why can I not remember that word? I do not know. I What's the word? One. Magic cones. What? Magic cones. Magic cones or magical? Magical. Okay, yeah, that was the word I was looking for. So this mascara is a little magical. So if you guys don't know, I said in one of my videos, I've got to go in and order more contacts. I'm completely out. So I've been wearing my glasses every day of my life, which is basically torture for myself because I hate squinting. Um, I don't know why I haven't gone in and done it. I'm about to have this baby, so like I need to go do it. Like maybe we'll go do that today after this and after we fix all of that. This is Maybelline Brow Precise. I get the dark brown. Um, I know a lot of people would be like, why don't you use the blonde? It matches your hair better or whatever. I like dark eyebrows. Um, this happened because I was in college. I was looking at a picture of Lindsay Lohan one day. <laughs> as embarrassing as that is. She's like in a People magazine. And I was like, Lindsay Lohan has black eyebrows and it looks good and you can see her face. Why can't I do that? And that, my friends, freshman year of college is when I started darkening my eyebrows because before then I was literally walking around with no eyebrow like at all I don't know why no one told me like come on mom tell me I look like an alien but she didn't know because she has dark eyebrows so that's that I'm here for you girl I'm gonna help you darken the minute you acknowledge I mean we're gonna have to wait to wear makeup for a while we got to be conservative but you know what I'm saying. And I spool my eyebrows first. And the reason I like this is I, I don't like drawn on eyebrows. Every time I see them, then they look drawn on. Like, I know you've drawn on your eyebrows. It's like some, ah! wait, wait, wait one second. <laughs> I don't like the drawn on look. So what this does is this is a gel. So it clings to my natural eyebrow. And girl, I got thick eyebrows. I've never had them shaped. They probably need to be shaped. Um, but I like this. Where are you going? I love you. I love you. Can you sit for a second? Uh -uh. Watch me do this and then you can do my lips. Let's see if you can see it. It still gives me... Oh, it looks bad in the view. <laughs> you can still see uh, my actual... Can it's like, you do that? It's like microblading. You can, can see you the that? strokes. Yes. Can you do you want to do your eyebrows? Mm -hmm. Okay, you put that on your eyebrows. Can you sit though? Sit on your bottom because I don't want that on my chair. We're not trying to get too crazy up in here. <laughs> Ruin home decor. Come on. Now that this is dry, I'm going to... Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> oh, that's what trips you up? Now I'm gonna go in with um, that strobe highlighter again and just do the corner of my eyes and kind of right at the bottom. Well, just kind of lightens them up. With the things I need. The blue? Here's your brush right here. Give me the eyebrow stuff back. Do you want me to do your eyebrows? This feels so wrong. <laughs> Let's see what you look like with a little darker brow. You like it? <laughs> okay. Look at me. <laughs> Looks awesome. Now I'm going to show you guys my biggest trick of all. My eyes. Remember how I used to get them filled with fake eyelashes? Well, I haven't done that in like three or four months. Tricked ya! So I use magnet magnetic eyelashes. I'll have them linked below them. as well. Yeah. As long as Amazon has them. Here's the problem. Amazon has not carried the specific number that I like. Um, so I'll link the 002. I personally don't like the way the 002 looks. Um, I like the Ardell Accent 001. It has to be the I accent. I done. Looks good. You done? Where are you gonna go now, though? I want to go check in the mirror. Oh, go look in the mirror? Okay. Check out how easy it is to apply these eyelashes. I'm gonna bring the camera in closer so you can get a close up on my eyes so I can show you. And this can be like the one educational thing you learn in this video. Okay, so I have one lash on and I'm coming in for a close up so you guys can see how I apply them. Um, and they're actually super, super easy. It takes some getting used to. Um, but the great thing about it is if you apply them badly, you literally just pull them off and try again. Like it's not, you don't have to mess with glue. You don't have to do anything like that. So you just kind of lay it on top. See that? And then you're going to grab it from the outside. Little, oh, my nails need to be done again. I want more of this. I push it up against my eyelid and I start it kind of halfway in my pupil. Well, halfway to my pupil. All right. So, and then you just pull up. Thank you for giving me a back rub as I'm doing my eyelash application. So helpful. Spread them out. The more you wear them, the better they look because they start getting kind of cray cray, which is like a real lash. They're not perfectly like perfectly. I will do lipstick in a minute. So then I come in and I do another layer on these exposed, my actual eyelashes, if that makes sense. See how they're darkening up to where they match a little better with the magnetic lashes. I'm gonna let Berkeley do the lipstick before she works internally. Here we go. See, I don't have my contacts in, so it looks really good to me. It's super blurry. <laughs> oh, you're doing pretty good for a three-year-old who's never done it before. You're so gentle. <laughs> yeah, just rub that in. It's a good idea. You're really trying to get the whole area, huh? Girl, that's a good application. Thank you so much guys for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please slam on that thumbs up button. Shows me you liked it. Shows me I need to make more content like this. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and do not forget to hit that little bell icon because that's gonna give you notifications the minute I upload new material. Don't touch any of the furniture with your face. Okay, all right, okay. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye. I love you. Don't ever get in my makeup, okay? This is a one-time thing. Honey, you don't know what CPS is, but someone's gonna call them. I'm gonna get slammed with negligence if we go out like this. Girl, you look bomb. Literally, like a bomb on your face. Yeah.